Let's go ahead and take a look at the next retouching tool. Click and hold on the Spot Healing Brush tool, and let's select Healing Brush tool. Okay, you'll notice the options bar, options panel changed a little bit, and this tool actually requires us to create a sample that will be used to make the corrections. You'll also notice that we can still sample just the current layer as we're doing, or like I pointed out in the previous tool, we could sample layers below. So we could, again, make a separate layer that's transparent and we could make corrections non-destructively on a new layer. And again, you've got the option for pressure control if you're using a drawing tablet. Okay, let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit and let's look at my dad's arm. We see some damage to the photo here on his upper arm. And again, with the healing brush tool, we're gonna to create a sample. It is similar to our spot healing brush, but now we are going to pre-select our sample pixels and this is going to include when it creates our change, our correction. It's gonna include texture, lighting, transparency, and shading. Let's hover our mouse over the area that we wanna correct. I'm gonna make a larger brush. Again, we can use a right square bracket or a left square bracket. And I wanna make it a little larger to fit the area that I wanna correct. So this is the area I wanna correct, and I'm gonna find an area that's similar in tone and texture. And I'm gonna hold on my Option key or my Alt key on the windows to get my little crosshairs. My pointer changes to give me the opportunity to sample with the crosshairs. So I'm gonna click. I've created my sample. So now when I hover over the damaged area of the photo, you'll see that the correction is previewed inside the brush. So now when I click, and I'm gonna go ahead and hold my mouse while I'm clicking, you see the plus sign. That was where I created my sample. So it's taking the area from where the plus sign is and it's putting it in the area of the brush. And I actually get to see a preview before I commit to it. I'm gonna go ahead and release my mouse and my area has been corrected. So let me go over here to the crook of his arm here and we see some more damage. Now when I'm hovering here, you'll notice that the color tone doesn't look correct. So I'm gonna go ahead and resample. Again, Option key or Alt key. I'm going to click and release and then move my mouse over the area that needs correction. And we can see the tone looks much better. It's much better match. And I'm gonna click, and we can see the correction's much better. We can go up here on his forearm. Again, we see the color's probably a little too dark. Let me go ahead and show you what happens if I click. And it looks okay. It actually did some self-correction based on the area that it was correcting. So it took in the information from our selected area that we're gonna use as our sample image and it took into account where it's going and it made some corrections based on lighting. Okay, let's go ahead and look at his t-shirt up here near his shoulder. And right now, you will notice that the preview inside my brush is showing the skin from his arm. So we're gonna to need to create a new sample. And then when I click, it makes my correction. And notice it got a little too dark. So let me undo that. Let me try another selection, a little lower, and go back in. Again, we have a little bit too much darkening coming in here. Let me undo it again. And let me try a smaller brush this time. And again, every picture is different. Let me resample. Every correction is gonna have to be played with. It's all trial and error as you're working with these things. So let me reselect a sample point. And that looks a little dark to me. Let me see if I can get it lightened up a little bit. And it may just be because of the proximity area where I'm correcting and the darkness above his shirt that's actually creating that problem. So let me back up. And the problem with the picture was actually better than my corrections. So let's go back to our spot healing brush tool and see if that can do a better job. Let me first try my proximity match. Again, I'm gonna make my brush a little larger than the area I want corrected. And that didn't do a good job at all. So let me undo that. And now let's try Content Aware, again with the Spot Healing Brush tool. And I'm gonna click. And we can see that did a better job than the proximity match, but it actually looks extremely similar to what happened with my Healing Brush tool. So in this case, I'm not getting a good correction, so I'm gonna undo that and leave the damage, and perhaps we'll find another tool as we're working through that'll be a better way to correct that part of the image.